All right, welcome back, Oklahoma. Oklahoma City Police Chief Ron Basie is in his third month as chief, taking on the top spot with our local police force. And he's in studio this morning to share an update, talking about some recent violent crimes and also, of course, Halloween this week. We're going to talk about some safety. Chief, thanks so much for being here and taking the time. Thank you, Cameron. Good morning to you as well. It has been a busy October for, for the police department. You guys are always busy. I wanted to talk kind of going in chronological order backwards about some of the, the recent things that have happened this 7-Eleven store clerk that was that was allegedly murdered. You know, there's video of this happening, but an 18 year old store clerk. A lot of conversation about the fact that she was working alone uh, when this happened. I just wanted to get your take on this, what the police department is doing in response to this, the investigation and, and what you make of this, this store clerk that was unfortunately killed while working by herself. Well, first and foremost, we want to send our sincere condolences to anyone who knew and loved her. We know she leaves behind a young child and that's impactful to this entire community. We all feel that. Um, the there's no good news in a scenario like this. Um, there is some relieving news in that the person that is accused to have or alleged to have done this mm -hmm. is has been apprehended, and that's a step forward for um, the investigation and the family. It's an ongoing investigation. I can't comment too much about it, but um, I will say that we work collaboratively as a community to uh, ultimately apprehend this individual. Is there anything the department might change when it comes to supporting a store clerk who might be working alone or what what currently is the is the, the current status of how that works for, for the department? Well currently we just try to our priority uh is 911 calls, yep. um, especially life safety issues, but we also have secondary um, objectives to check on those people who might be working on, in late night hours or in any type of um, facility that would be open late and just to make sure that they're safe. Our, you know, our presence tends to um, maybe thwart a lot of things on some occasions, so we just try to increase our presence, um, especially when things like this happen. The only other question I would ask about this too is that this was a tip that helped you guys catch the suspect too. Would you speak to that and how so often when we run a story like that we say share a tip to police. In this case it is exactly how you guys caught the person. So would you share more maybe why someone should, should send in a tip to the police department the impact that could have? So Cameron if I may let me speak to the public. Yeah. Um, the reason why we put this information out to the public and we use Crime Stoppers is because the best source of information we have is the entire uh, community. Um, this large population we know that someone is going to potentially have information uh, whenever we have a crime that needs to be solved. So we always solicit your help. So please 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 follow us on our social media. Um, stay tuned to our updates and provide information information when you have the information to provide. Yeah, you just never know when a tip might might make the, the difference. Uh, another big topic has been violent crime involving teenagers. We had a, a Halloween party shooting earlier this month where sadly an 18 year old died. We know there was other teenage suspects involved with it. 14 other people were shot. Uh, would you speak to violent crime involving teenagers? I know that you've spoken about guns being stolen from cars in cer certain situ situations. Um, but would you just speak to that and these incidents involving teenagers and them leading to violent crime? So first and foremost, um, we know that people who haven't reached a certain level of maturity um, probably aren't going to make the best decisions with a handgun or a rifle. And some of the weapons that these young children have um, are unimaginable in the first place. But secondly, you talked about guns stolen from cars. Um, if you go back to Operation Signing Boom, which was the ATF operation, it speaks to the partnership we have in the Oklahoma City Metro with our federal state, county, and local partners. We work together um, to resolve these issues. And in 60 days, we got, what, 193 firearms off the streets, 63 kilograms of various drugs. That's just the proliferation of availability of weapons to people who shouldn't have them. When you talk about auto burglaries, uh, to date, we've had 368 this year um, guns stolen from cars. And I believe 256 of those cars were unlocked. Wow. So we're basically giving guns to people um, that shouldn't have them. And we see the results of that when you, we have an incident where several people are shot. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're locking your doors. I also wanted to bring up a couple of different shootings that happened in Bricktown this month as well. Bricktown in general as an area, is this something that law enforcement is looking into more and putting extra eyes in Bricktown after a few incidents have taken place this month? Absolutely. So first of all, when you have large crowds and large numbers, that's always going to increase the odds of something happening. So we have a 
pretty decent in-person presence in Bricktown as well as a virtual presence. Um, as well as when things like this happen, we had a curfew violation and we've become a little more strict on that. Um, there was a little bit of grace at some point of allowing people to call their parents to get picked up. And then again, this is a statement to the parents. Um, nine o'clock is our our curfew in, in Bricktown. Unaccompanied minors must be picked up by nine o'clock, not dropped off, um, not receiving a call from, but picked up by nine o'clock. Yeah, that's a good reminder there. And of course, Chief, Halloween is Thursday. Anything else you'd like to share for people, information they should know before they head out to go trick or treating or, or things to know before going out for Halloween in Oklahoma City? I remember Halloween as a child. I think we all remember dressing up for school and Halloween parties, but specifically for children candy, getting out there and knocking on doors. It was a good time and we want that to be the same for the next generation. However, there are some things that you have to do to be safe. Please go to our website, click on our Offender Watch page, and there are helpful flyers for every occasion, including, including Halloween. Um, just those helpful hints to how to keep your children safe during this holiday. Absolutely. Chief, we appreciate you so much coming in for these monthly check-ins. It really means a lot to us so thanks so much for taking the time thank you for having me Cameron